hey guys welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another video so as you would have seen by the title today's video is a this or that kind of video and I've been really really struggling for video ideas recently I was like what should I film for this week's video and I thought you know what I'm gonna film a this or that because I was debating whether to do a Q&A but I was like Q&A's are a bit boring so we'll do a this or that because it's a bit more interesting and this way you kind of get to know a bit more about me and what things I like in the equestrian world kind of thing and it would also be nice if you guys could comment down below things that you would choose like the ones that I would choose say I might like black tack more, you guys like my, like my, uh, might like brown tack more, I really can't speak. Um, so yeah, make sure you comment down below things that you might like more. I'm pretty sure I've got about 15 to 20 this or that so I'm going to be answering and I can't wait to answer them for you guys. So I guess without further ado, we're going to get on with this video. So guys, I have my phone right here with all of this or that questions on. So I'm actually going to be going through about 15 to 20 questions, answering them, like giving a little reason why I'm answering them like that. Obviously say a question obviously a different colour tack you say why I like that colour tack better this this and that that's basically what's going to go down and I've got about 15 to 20 questions like I said so I can't wait to tell you guys what we're going to be answering so let's go answer some questions but the first one is dressage or show jumping and I preferably like show jumping not because I don't like dressage, because I do like dressage, because I'd prefer to do eventing all together, but I just prefer show jumping more because it's more fun, you get more of an adrenaline rush from show jumping. I don't know, there's just something about it, it's just ten times more fun. And I don't know, like I like dressage, but dressage can get boring and I'm really bad at remembering the tests. Well, I used to be really good, but I haven't done one for a long, long time. So I don't know how good I will be at remembering a dressage test, but I just, just prefer show jumping a bit more. I have nothing against dressage because I do like it. And I just like all the fanciness of dressage, but show jumping I just think is overall a bit more fun and than dressage. Next up we have horses or ponies, and I preferably like horses. Um, if you know, I am very, very tall. I'm like 5'11", something like that. I am pretty tall and have very incredibly long legs. So I find it hard to ride ponies. Um, I do ride ponies sometimes, or as you see on my Instagram, I ride Cherry, and she's like 14'1", and I don't look too bad on her. I just prefer horses. I find them so much more comfortable to ride. And plus, I look a lot better on horses. I'd rather ride a horse and make myself look smaller than look so big on a pony. And I don't know, I just like horses more, even though ponies are incredibly fun. I just prefer riding horses a bit more. Next up, we have more of like a big interesting one, and this is for brands. So do you prefer Lemure or Equestrian Stockholm? And I'm obviously going to have to say Lemure, just because Equestrian Stockholm, I think that's how you say it. I'm not actually too sure, but that's how we're going to say it. I just prefer Lemure because they have more of a wide variety of products and is less expensive um even though Lemure can be quite expensive anyway it's not as expensive as Equestrian Stockholm and I just feel like they do more of a wider variety like obviously the saddle pads they do three different shaped cuts they do ones with memory foam they do the, the Loire the bamboo the suede they do all sorts and obviously they do a huge amount of clothing different types of things I don't know I just prefer Lemure more Obviously, I do want to try Equestrian Stockholm and get one of their saddle pads because they are honestly beautiful. I will one say thing that their saddle pads are incredible. Um, but I just haven't tried them yet. But overall, I'm just going to say I have to prefer Lemure more just because I have more of their products and just think they have a bit more of a wider variety. Next up, we have no stirrups or bareback. And this is very similar. These are two very similar questions because obviously... Well, bareback you have no saddle, but you obviously don't have no stirrups either. Whereas no stirrups, you have the saddle for a little bit of like stability and gives you a bit more balance, but you still have the no stirrups. And if I'm honest, I like them both equally, but if I had to choose, I probably would say bareback just because bareback is so fun and it is incredibly fun and it's a laugh if you fall off bareback and see people bouncing around on the bouncy little ponies and things but I do like no stirrups because like I don't know it's just a bit different to riding with your stirrups and to be fair I, I did used to do it a lot um because my first job was a dressage job so we used to do no stirrups a lot and I do quite find it fun but obviously I choose bareback because bareback is so so fun this next one is one of those typical this or that questions and it is bay or chestnut and I think I'm gonna to have to go for chestnut just because I love chestnuts, honestly. It's such a unique, bright colour and I just love chestnuts. They're just so cute and I don't know. Like obviously bays are super cute as well, 
but I'm just gonna have to choose chestnuts over bays because they're more unique in a sense like, I love flaxen chestnuts as well when they have the pale mane it's just beautiful and I don't know I just love chestnuts they're so fiery and so different so I'm definitely gonna have to choose chestnuts for that one so for this next question this is more of a seasonal question and it is summer or winter um I'm definitely going to choose summer not going to lie winter is so hard for the questions as literally everybody knows it's muddy it's cold constantly doing loads of rug changes picking out the feet when the feet are covered in mud washing their legs because they are actually lathered the fields are awful it's windy it's cold it's rainy it's not nice like um, winter is horrible but then the thing is you have in the summer the ground goes so dry and like it's just not nice but I love summer summer when it's nice and warm you can go riding on the beach and not be cold riding short sleeve t-shirts and I just prefer summer a lot more in general because I like to get a tan not on a question time where you have white everywhere else and orange arms but I just prefer summer all together because you can just do so much more in summer and it's just such an enjoyable season and it's just so much better when being out in the sun I really hope the lighting's not gone funny because the sun has just gone behind a cloud but we'll deal with it so this next one again is another typical one another typical colour question and this is pie boards or ski boards and I am obviously going to say pie boards I don't know I love pie boards. It isn't an obsession, but I love them. If you go through my Instagram, practically every single pony I ride is a pie board. Like Star is a pie board, Cherry is a pie board, Suarez is a pie board. I just seem to ride a lot of pie board ponies or even coloured ponies in general. Um, it's just because obviously cobs are very common in the UK and a lot of horses are crossbred with cobs. And I don't know, I just love coloured horses, especially pie boards. And when I used to ride at my first riding school, I used to ride two pie balls there as well called salmon widget and i don't know i just seem to ride a lot of colored horses but i do like pie balls more i don't know why and because skew balls are so unique but i don't know i just i'm just a sucker for a pie board i'm not gonna lie this next one is a breed this or that so we have thoroughbreds or cobs and i'm gonna hands down have to say cobs they are literal legends cobs are amazing you can cross breed them with anything and they just turn out so well they are honestly so willing so friendly and they're just good all-rounders like i have nothing against thoroughbreds at all like i would hands down own a thoroughbred but they are temperamental you have to get lucky with the thoroughbred they're hard to keep weight on and yeah that's all i'm going to say you have to be very lucky to get an amazing thoroughbred like honestly they do turn out to be like great event horses or dressage horses and um, but i just prefer cobs I don't know, I just prefer them. They're better weight carriers as well. And they're just good little all-rounders and they're just so cute. I just love cobs. I'm no nothing biased against the forebred. I have rode many forebreds in my time. But I just prefer cobs. They're just great horses and ponies, obviously. And I just love cobs. So I have nothing against forebreds. Like I've said, I would happily have one. But I just prefer cobs a lot more. This next one is a very biased subject, right? This is either brown tack or black tack, okay? And I think this is a very, very big thing because I think a lot more people prefer black tack than brown tack. And if I'm honest, I really don't know which I prefer. For a long, long while, I only liked black tack and I really didn't like brown. But if you've seen my, not, I don't know when it was. Uh, I did an unboxing of my new helmet. My new helmet is a gatehouse helmet and it is brown. And I love my helmet. And I'm kind of getting into brown tack a lot more. I don't know, I just think it's different. And I do like brown riding boots too. I'm literally in the middle, borderline middle. I really don't know which one I'd rather choose. Maybe at this moment, maybe brown. I really don't know, because I love them both. Like, I think black goes with a lot more, but brown is a bit more different. I don't know, I'm really confused. I'm probably gonna say black. Just for the pure fact I slightly like it a bit more than brown but I do really really like brown at the moment and my opinion could change and grow and I might like brown more but for now I'm going to say black black tack because I just think it looks a bit better and goes with a lot more so yeah this next one is a very hard question for me to answer and it is a very common this or that question and it is mares or geldings and honestly I really don't know I ride an equal amount of mares and geldings, so I really cannot choose. I feel like geldings are a bit more sweeter and cheekier. And mares, because mares can be quite moody, but some mares aren't. Like, some mares are so sweet. Like, Cherry, she's such a little cutie. And, like, I really don't know. Like, because obviously each horse is different despite being mare or geldings, so I really cannot choose. 
Uh, I feel like I ride a lot more mares than I do geldings so. though. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm really stuck. I might just say for now, geldings more. I don't know. I feel like I get on better with geldings more than I do mares. But I can't really be biased by that. We're just going to say geldings for now because I don't really know which one to pick. I like equal as much as most, but I'm going to have to pick one. So we're going to pick geldings because I literally don't know what the hell to pick. So the next this or that is forest ride or beach ride and I would hands down have to say a beach ride. I love a beach ride. There's something about riding on the beach which is so amazing. I've never really properly ridden in a forest though. That is something that I would like to do, like galloping through a forest. That would be amazing. I have done like little hacks through forests, but not like properly. But I do love a beach ride, obviously, because you can go in the sea. It's just so much fun galloping along the beach, especially if you go with your friends. Like it's super, super fun, and I just love it. And obviously, you can go swimming in the sea if you have like an area which you can actually swim in the sea. Because some areas, obviously, there's high tides, low tides, obviously currents, everything. So you have to be really, really careful. And obviously, with the soft sand, you also have to be careful. But I just love riding on the beach. Like I literally live so close to the beach anyway, so it's very easy for me. But I do love riding on the beach. It's just so, so fun. We are now getting down to the last few questions. I think I have three left. And this next one is a very big one because I know how much of us are questions like matchy products. And this is matchy or random. And I, hands down, would have to say matchy just because I like it to be pleasing to the eye and it's just so nice when you match. And I don't like random. Like, imagine having pink bell boots, a red saddle pad, a blue hat silk on no 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 that just ain't for me i just don't like it i would much rather be matchy like you know you can match where you say you have like obviously brown boots brown tack and that matches you can have a top so like the top i've got no map now my super cross country top it has a red and a green no green and a red stripe with gold you could have like a red saddle pad to go with it you could have a green hat silk and it would still match because it's still got the colors in it but obviously things that match just look so much nicer so much smarter and I just prefer it a lot more. Like, I see people, I, like, I just kind of cringe at the sight when it's not matchy. But, like, some people don't really care, but I do care. And if I had my own horse, it would be matchy all the time, if I'm honest. Just matchy is so much better. And this Esme is 100% proof of matchy. Like, she is so matchy, it's just so satisfying and so pleasing. And I just love it. It's just great. We're on the second to last of this or that, and this one is Western or English. And obviously I prefer English a lot more because I ride that anyway. I have ridden Western a fair few times and I do really enjoy it. It's so fun. And one of my goals is to go Western riding in America. So hopefully I will be doing that in the next few years. Fingers crossed. But English, I just like English because obviously you can do your jumping, you can do your dressage, cross country. You can do a lot more things with English and it's just like, we're in England, we do English, we don't really do Western, it's not a huge thing over here. Obviously like they do do Western riding in England but it's much more bigger over in America and it's just a lot harder to do because not many places do Western riding in the UK but I have done it in the UK and it is so so fun and it's just, I'd like to try barrel racing as well because it just looks so fun. But obviously I'm going to choose English riding a lot more because that is what I do anyways. This last question is another brand question and it is Charles Owen or Gatehouse. You guys probably know more about Charles Owen than Gatehouse. Um, but I have had helmets from both brands. I have had, I've had Harry Hall helmets, I've had Charles Owen, I've had all sorts. I've had loads of helmets but these are my two favourite brands. I've only had a Charles Owen school cap and I've had the Gatehouse, I think it's Chelsea Airvent Map Pro or something like that and I must say I do prefer my Gatehouse helmet a little bit more it is just fits me better and has better ventilation as well so guys this is the end of this video now I really hope you enjoyed my this or that questions video if you haven't already please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below any video ideas you would like to see on my channel and also if you are new to the channel please subscribe because it means a lot and I'm also getting close to my goal of 500 subscribers which I'm trying to reach by Halloween so I've given myself a big like goal space so I don't want to give myself a short goal space and not be able to reach it. So I want to try and reach 500 subs by Halloween, which is so, so good. I think I'm 53 subscribers away, which is not a lot really. And I'm so, so thankful for all your support recently on my channel. It means a lot to me. So I'm going to end this video right here. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.